guys, welcome back to Storytime. Hi, it's Pastor Lori from the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches. I've still got another story for us. Storytime, part three. Three. I don't want to leave us hanging. First we had Jesus, last supper with his disciples, part one. Jesus' death, part two. What's today? It's Easter. I'm here to tell you. Jesus is alive. But there's a story behind that. So listen up. There was a rich man named Joseph. Now, he wasn't the same Joseph that was married to Jesus' mother. And it wasn't Joseph of a coat of many colors. Joseph was just a popular name back then. But Joseph was a follower of Jesus. He loved Jesus. Like all Jesus' followers, he was very sad when Jesus died. He wanted to do something nice for Jesus. That's how much he loved him. So he went to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, remember, and asked if he could take care of Jesus' body. And the Pontius Pilate said, yes, here he is, it's Joseph, with Jesus' body. Well, important people died in Israel. They weren't buried in the ground. Instead, they were placed in tombs, carved out of rock, like a small cave. Joseph had a special tomb that he had made to use when he would die. But he decided to let Jesus have it instead. So Jesus' body was placed in this tomb. And a big rock was rolled in front of that cave. So no one would come in and steal him. And some of the Pharisees and Sadducees went to Pilate and said, What if Jesus' friends move that rock and take that body? And then they see Jesus is alive again. That would cause a lot of trouble, wouldn't it? That would cause a lot of trouble, Pilate said. So Pilate put guards outside of this tomb to make sure nobody moved the stone. Jesus died on a Friday. All day Saturday, his body lay in Joseph's tomb. Talked about that yesterday. A silence. I don't like that. You know what? His friends didn't like it either. They were very sad. See, here's a picture of the tomb with the guards at it. See? Not very happy looking little dudes, are they? That's all right, they had a job to do, I guess. Let's see what's on the next page. Well, early Sunday morning, two of Jesus' friends, they were women, by the way, came to visit the tomb. They were named Mary. Neither of them was Jesus' mother either. That was just a common name. These two Marys were very sad. They missed Jesus. They brought spices and perfume to put on Jesus' body, which is something people did after people passed away. But how will we get this stone rolled away, they wondered. Just as the two Marys were wondering what to do, boom! The ground shook, and an angel appeared. Wow, I would have scared me. He was right in front of them, and the angel rolled the stone away. He looked toward the Roman guards, who were so scared, they probably fainted and fell to the ground. So look, there it is, the angel. There he is. Then the angel looked at the two Marys and smiled. Do not be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus, but he isn't here. Jesus isn't dead anymore. Jesus is alive. And the two Marys couldn't believe what they are hearing. Was Jesus really alive? And they turned to go and tell everyone what happened. They moved, they bumped right into someone. Guess who that was? It was Jesus. Seeing Jesus filled their hearts with joy. Don't be afraid, Jesus said. Go tell my disciples that I am alive. Tell them they will see me too. There's Jesus telling the Marys. Can you imagine that? Well, that's exactly how it happened. Jesus appeared then to all his disciples, he explained to them why he had to die. He told them the great news that death has no power in God's kingdom. Then Jesus told his friends it was time for him to leave. From now on, spreading the kingdom of God would be their job, our job too. We need your help, these friends said. Jesus smiled and said, you will have my help. I will send you a helper who will fill you with power, the power of God. And you will do all kinds of amazing things that you've seen me do. 
And then Jesus rose up to the sky and disappeared. They were amazed, his disciples were, a little confused, as they usually were, by the way. How could they spread the kingdom of God without Jesus there? Who is this helper? And how would he help? They didn't have any answers to these big questions, but they knew that God was with them in a big, big way. We know because Jesus is alive, death has no power over the kingdom of God. Talk to someone you love. How do you think Jesus' friends felt when they saw him again after his death? What do you think it means to be filled with God's power? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for that Jesus is alive and can be our friend even today. Help us to see your power in our lives as we follow you. Amen. Well, see, I had to finish the story. The story doesn't end there. We've got to take this story and tell everybody about how good Jesus is. So make sure you do that this Easter. I love you guys. Happy Easter. Don't eat too much candy. Save me a piece. All right? Love you. Bye.